Hey everybody, my name is Brian O'Toole with Instratech, and today we're going to talk about the Instratech Smart Jig, which was specifically designed to run Ideal CT and TSR test using your older style load frames. Before we get to the test though, we want to talk about the components that you'll receive when you purchase this product from Instratech. First is the Smart Jig itself, which you'll see resembles an older style Lotman TSR head. Second, the Samsung tablet, which comes preloaded with the Instratech Smart Loader software. Third is the LVDT, which will be used for displacement measurement. Four is the contact magnet, which affixes to the crosshead of your loading frame. Your charger, centering screws, and your grease, will help keep your, which helps keep your jig lubricated. Now that we've seen all the components, let's move on to pairing the jig with the tablet. Now we're going to go through the process of pairing the tablet with the smart jig. First thing you'll need to do is to turn the smart jig on. There is a switch on the back of the black box. Once on, a green light will illuminate and blink, letting know there is sufficient power to the unit. There are also two more lights on the back of the smart jig, a red and a blue one. The red one is used to indicate a low battery. At that point, you'd need to plug your smart jig in. And the blue light will, know, you will let you know you have a successful connection to the tablet. So at this point, we'll take our tablet and open up the smart loader software. In the middle of the screen, you'll see a blue box that says connect. Press this button and in a few seconds, you'll be connected to the smart jig. Now that you're connected, we're gonna install the LVDT. So for this, you'll need a regular Phillips head screwdriver and an LVDT. The smart jig itself comes with an LVDT mounting bracket on the back and the LVDT box has grooves in it in which it slides easily onto the smart jig. You're gonna to wanna to go about a quarter of the way down and tighten your screws. There's no need to over tighten these. Now that the LVDT is installed, we are ready to set up our test. For proper maintenance of the Instratec Smart Jig, we highly recommend you lubricate it after each use. The way to do that is to use the grease and the applicator. And what you want to do is go around each pole of the jig, start with the top, lift it up, and then on the bottom of each side, and give it a good run up and down about four or five times. That will make sure you're getting your best results from the smart jig. There are two different versions of the smart jig, and we're going to show you how to align each one individually. The first version has the LVDT bracket located in the back of the smart jig or facing towards the back. The reason that we did this is this was the version one uh, of the magnet. We have since changed to this style for the contact magnet. If you don't have one of these, please contact Instratech. In order to align version one, what we're going to do is take our contact magnet and affix it to the crosshead. We're going to take our jig, place it in the load frame. You do not need the spacer screws for this one. You're going to turn it slightly so the LVDT is directly under the contact magnet and so when you lift the top bar up, the circle on the black bar is directly below the old load cell from the pine press. At that point, you'll take your sample, load it like you would a normal TSR sample, and that's how you align version one. In order to, to properly align version two, you will need your spacer screws. Once those are screwed in, take your jig and back it up right in the middle. Again, you're going to want to keep this parallel. And also for this version, you want to make sure that you give enough space between your contact magnet and your LVDT for the jig to slide in properly. Again, take your sample, rock it into the middle, and let it set. This will automatically make sure that the load cell and the middle of the spacer bar on top are properly aligned. We're now ready to run the ideal CT test. Go back to the home screen on the tablet and find the button that says Start Test. Press it 
and you'll be prompted to lubricate the jig, which we've shown you how to do already. Set your tablet down, and now we're ready to run the test. There are three switches on the Pine machine which you'll be using. The limit switch, which is located on the bottom in the middle, the up button, and the stop button, which will stop the test. In order to run the test, press and hold the limit switch down and press and release the up button until the test is completed, at which time you will press the stop button. All right, we'll hit the limit switch and press the up button. Once this makes contact, you'll start to see data collecting on the tablet. When the test is finished, hit the stop button. And now we're ready to look at our results. Now that the test is complete, we're going to use our yellow button to lower the RAM and remove our sample. This is what a proper ideal CT test graph looks like. To ensure data quality, look for the following criteria to be met. One, you have a smooth plot curve starting at zero. Two, your final load is less than 0.1 kilonewtons. And three, your displacement is greater than eight millimeters. Here we have an example of a good test which meets all our criteria. The curve is smooth and starts at zero. There are no anomalies in the curve. Final load is less than 0.1 kilonewtons, and displacement is greater than 8 millimeters. As an alternative, here is an example of a bad curve. If you experience data collection results like this with your smart jig, call Instratech for technical assistance. To view your results, click the Details button at the top of the test page. All data will be displayed, including the ideal CT index in the bottom right corner of the screen. Test data can be exported from the tablet via email or direct download. We hope you've enjoyed this video, but if you still have questions, please feel free to call or email Instrotech.